Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm creating three intuitive abstract paintings in 15 minutes using uh, a three color palette. Uh, the three colors are Windsor Blue, Green Gold, and Vermilion. And as always, black and white are optional additions to those if you want to, to use those. Uh, I'll start with three minutes on each and after the three minutes, I'll put it aside to dry briefly while I work on the next one. Uh, and then I'll come back and try and finish it within the last two minutes. Um, I did let each sit after this exercise and came back with fresh eyes to briefly tweak anything I wanted to. And, and I'll show you those at the, at the end of the video, but I really didn't spend much extra time on them. Um, pretty much everything that you're, you're going to see at the end. Uh, for the most part, the bulk of it came from these, these uh, five-minute exercises. So the first one I'm starting on, um, I just used a China marker to put down some lines, just random lines. And now I'm using a color shaper to just kind of smear on some of these colors. I'm not really doing a whole lot of mixing uh, here. Any of the mixing I'm doing, for the most part, I'm doing actually on on the paper itself. Uh, what I'm using on this particular one is a piece of watercolor paper that I've gessoed. Uh, I believe uh, I have one more that that uh, I use gessoed watercolor watercolor paper. Excuse me, and the other one is ungessoed mixed media paper in my sketchbook. So at this point, I'm I'm just kind of um, trying to not go super fast because when you only have three minutes that's the first thing that comes to mind is you start rushing you start really trying to uh, lay down as much as you can as fast as you can uh, and it's very random and that's you know that's part of this exercise is it is somewhat random it is fast but it's easy to panic and to just make a big uh, mess and a big pile of mud um, which, you know, I, I do on uh, actually a couple of these. I kind of have a little bit uh, a little bit of mud. But it's laying something down to uh, allow me to come back to and kind of take a quick glance and and move forward, try and fine tune fine tune it and, and pull something out of it. So at the last minute on on each of these, I'll, I'll put a timer up there so you can kind of see what I'm working with. And you know, looking at this, there's not a lot there, um, but it's giving me something to work with. Um, and I actually, you know, uh, really ended up liking this one. It's very simplistic, uh, but uh, uh, again, gave me something to work with uh, in the last two minutes. So on the second one, I am working on um, something in my notebook. I'm using a charcoal pencil now. Um, coming back and just again making some some random shapes. Um, just something to start with here. And these these exercises are are great uh, if you have artist block or if you're you know just standing in front of your your uh, surface and wondering what to paint. You know, this is a great way to just um, do something simple. And again, with with a limited color palette, um, you don't have a lot of choices. You can do some mixing, but um, it really is about what's in front of you uh, and what you can make with with limited colors. Um, on this one, I didn't uh, include the the vermilion. Um, I just kind of got going in a direction and didn't uh, didn't even think of the vermilion. So um, at the end of the video, like I said, I'm going to show. Um, what I did to kind of tweak these after the fact. Um, and on this particular one, I did come in with some Caran d'Ache uh, water soluble wax pastels. And um, there was enough yellow in it that I added a little bit of purple um, at the end. So obviously, you know, these are yours to do what you want with. Um, I, you know, at the end, it's, it's fun to give it some time, come back and look at it with fresh eyes and think, okay, if I added a little bit more color, what would I add? Or if I added uh, some more paint uh, in a certain area, where would I add it? If I made some more marks, any of that, it just helps you, helps you kind of fine tune your thinking a little bit.
but this is a you know this is a great exercise to loosen up and to experiment, um, play with with different colors. This color palette was one that when I first started working in a sketchbook, uh, this was the color palette that I was working with: um, Windsor blue and, and vermilion and green gold. And green gold um, is if you have olive or light olive that that works as well. Um, but uh, but really for this, you you choose your own colors, um, whatever you want to work with. Um, but again, it's it's kind of about reacting and not overthinking. And when you have such a limited uh, time frame, you it's very difficult to overthink because you know you're looking at that clock, thinking, okay, I've got to put something down, or I need to try and go in a direction, and you just start making marks and and brush strokes and uh, and playing, and it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, none of these uh, when I do this come out to be you know these great um, pieces of work but it really is a, a lot of fun and, and um, some of these end up giving me some great ideas for for future paintings Matter of fact I have a, a couple of larger paintings that came from um, exercises just like this so here's the third one I'm working on um, and I'm just using a large bowl scraper and that's Bowl B O W L. Uh, I had uh, T was was uh, thinking I kept saying bull, and then I went back and listened to it, and it did sound like I was saying a bull scraper. So it is a bowl scraper. Um, it's a it's a great way to put a lot of paint down and um, spreading you know spread that paint thinly over the surface, and then coming back in with a. Uh, a uh, color shaper or a, a silicone paintbrush and just playing in this one um, I never felt like I had any kind of direction uh, when I was doing this for the for the three minutes uh, when I come back over the uh, last two minutes I, I felt like I kind of found more of a direction and I'll show you these at the end with um, different orientations as well this one, I ended up switching the orientation uh, in the last two minutes. Uh, and um, I think I switched it uh, again, actually, after uh, I came back to it and ended up really liking a completely different orientation than the two that I worked on in this exercise. But just using a palette knife to scrape into it and uh, Again, I'm just trying to put some kind of interest down uh, in, during this three minutes to give me something to work with, uh, something to to try and pull something from in that in that last two minutes. But this is a, a great way to um, you know just kind of go back to a, a simple way of painting as well. Uh, sometimes I know I I'm guilty of it. I get really caught up using a lot of colors and uh, even though I might be working on an intuitive uh, abstract or just an abstract in general, you know, I, I tend to start focusing on details. And when you have a limited palette and a limited time frame, um, it's very difficult to focus on details. It's, it's really about simplicity. This is also a great way to, uh, you know, increase you know the volume of work that you do and and getting some of those reps in and, and, and getting a lot more practice in just setting a timer and going and uh, you know there's a little prep work you do have to get your if you're using uh, your sketchbook get your sketchbook set aside and your colors out and things like that but but overall it's it's just a very enjoyable uh, experience and painting session. So here I'm coming back to the first one that I worked on and uh, on this one I really primarily focused on using a, a fine tip applicator. This has black in it and just trying to bring out some of those initial lines I made with the China marker. And to me I'm, I'm starting to see kind of almost you know just a very vibrant colorful um, almost kind of looks like a leaf or a flower or something.
but these are also a great way to de-stress. Um, we all have those days where we get caught up and uh, have maybe some anxiety and, and uh, stress with other things that are going on. This is a great way to kind of push those thoughts out of your mind for, for 15 minutes. And speaking of detail, that's kind of what this little part on this on this painting is. I'm just kind of working on the some little details with with the lines. Just trying to bring out the those borders a little bit more and playing. And this doesn't look too different at the end. I didn't play with this one a whole lot more afterwards. I add a little bit more of the green gold in some areas and sprayed some water. Uh, on it, it got some droplets um, and uh, wiped those away with a paper towel. So I've got some, some little bit of a uh, little bit more visual texture in some areas. But limiting your your color palette, you know, that really helps increase your your skills with with color um, because you are kind of forcing yourself to mix a little bit more to get other colors and figuring out what you can do with the, the limited colors that you, that you do have. So coming back to the, the second painting here and immediately started thinking of, of rocks and um, kind of stacks of rocks. And I was kind of thinking of if light was in the center, um, kind of looking at it uh, in that way where light would be on um, the inside um, sections of those rocks and the shadows would be on the on the outside but these these definitely uh, encourage your artistic intuition kind of helps you um, kind of enhance your more instinctive approach to, to painting and get your get your mind in that place where um, you have a little quicker um, bouts of, of creativity and again bringing in the fine tip applicator to kind of enhance those the borders um, that I was painting over uh, in the first three minutes. I'm gonna, sounds like a very large airplane outside. Or a helicopter. You know, it adds to the soundtrack of the painting. So I'm getting down to the last bit here with, with the second one and I, I started thinking of uh, branches uh, for some reason that started kind of putting some branch-like uh, forms in with the, the fine tip applicator. So this is the one that I thought was the most, um, I guess, abstract, and, and I really had no idea of where I was going to go with this. So I just brought in a uh, water-soluble, um, or a watercolor pencil, excuse me. I guess they are water-soluble, but uh, and just drew some some lines and some shapes just to see if I could figure something out uh, here to work with and the color on this one at the end reminds me the the, the uh, blue and the white and the red um, I don't know if they still have them but there's uh, a popsicle I think it's called a rocket pop um, that has um, the red white and blue uh, colors in it and uh, for some reason that that's what this one made me think of. So now I'm gonna have to look up and see if they if they still still have those. But this is also a great outlet for uh, emotional expression. And if you do painting groups, this this would be a, a great exercise to do. With a group of people, I have everyone spending you know the, the 15 minutes to do three, and then you can afterwards 
um, share the work and, and uh, give feedback and see what, what others are doing. And if you're using paper, you know, it's kind of an inexpensive way to um, explore and get ideas and generate more ideas. So I ran over just a few seconds. So I'll show you the final pieces here in different orientations. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching and keep on painting.